Hello, Tammy C. Walker, Life Coach, Therapist, Social Worker. Hit subscribe and hit like for me. Today's video is about how hating your ex can actually hurt you. Don't hate your ex. Easy to say, right? This guy has just dumped you or this lady has just broke your heart and you want to hate them. You even want to do damage to their property or scandalize their name. But it's like drinking poison and expecting to hurt somebody else from your own poison. When we hate, it hurts us because it's a negative energy that's causing you to have internal pain. It takes a lot of energy to hate and it's easier to love. But who's going to be in love with someone that just betrayed them? So this is a process. And it's like after the pain, that's when you can learn that hating them is not going to add one value of life to you. But some of the reasons why you shouldn't hate your ex. Because number one, this too shall pass. You might feel a certain way about them now. But as time goes by, you know time is our best friend. It's going to subside. And you might not even think about them anymore in that way. Or you've moved on to somebody else or something else. But try not to hate. <laughs> Number two, we all have free will. It's up to someone else to choose to stay with us. It's up to us to choose to accept them. So we can't hate our ex or get mad at our ex because they decided to walk away. It's free will. It really is. Number three, this life is just a big ass lesson. We're always learning, learning, learning. And unfortunately, having our feelings hurt or our heartbreak or our heart broke is always a part of a lesson. What can I learn from this misfortune? What can I do to better me? I can't control another person, but I can make myself better. And that's what breakups do. They make us a better person or a bitter person. You choose. Number four. Maybe better is out there. We never know, right? It's a myth that kind of goes on when we're in a relationship. We always feel like that's the only match for us. Oh, I'll never meet another guy that had all of those attributes. And next thing you know, you meet somebody that tops that person. It's a, it's like a game or it's a trick, to be honest, because I felt like that before. Oh, I'll never get another person as sweet and loving and, uh, and the next guy was way better. <laughs> so I learned that the mind, it will play a lot of tricks on you and it'll have you thinking this is the end of the world. It's never going to get better. You're never going to get that match again. Um, you know, it's just all in your mind, be honest. Time is your best friend. And day by day, you're going to feel your strength come back. And don't hate, especially if you have kids with this person. Don't try not to hate them and keep the kids from the dad. Or it's even moms that play these games, you know. Um, the dad might have custody. He don't want them around the mom. So... It just can get really out of hand, but process the pain. Try not to hate. You're not going to be madly in love with that person initially, but try to move past wanting to hurt them or do harm to their property. It's just not healthy for you. You want to bring love into your life, whether it's healing past them, whether it's a reunion or whether it's someone new. So Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. I hope I helped you today. Hit subscribe for me and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.